Are you looking to get the most storage capacity for the SD card on your Mavic Pro? In this video, I'm gonna confirm the largest capacity micro SD card that can work with the Mavic Pro coming up. What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today, my name is Timothy and on this channel, I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content for your YouTube channel and production. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. At any time during this video, you can check out the show notes and links that I have in the description below. If you're interested in the products that I talk about, as well as maybe the gear that I use to make these videos or my social media channels like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, I'd love to connect there as well. We've all been there, right? We've got this epic shot coming up on our Mavic Pro. We've been waiting for the perfect moment in golden hour to grab that sunset. It's been a fantastic day of shooting and we're just about to grab the best shot of the day and we're out of storage space on our SD card. It's terrible, right? Have you guys been there? I'm sure you have. If you've got the Mavic Pro and it came with the 16 gigabyte SD card, that's not a lot of space if you're recording in 4K, 30 frames per second, which you should be, by the way. That space goes real quick when you come to saving files of such large size. Maybe you've got several batteries, um, like three or four, like I have, and you go battery after battery after battery just to get a lot of flight time in. And with the amazing flight times on these batteries averaging over 25 minutes that's a ton of recording time that your cards might not keep up with so you're looking to upgrade if you've been around the channel for a while you saw that I did a video on SD cards quite a while back and just giving you some recommendations for larger capacities a lot of you guys have been asking me what's the biggest one you can put in there and for the longest time people thought that 128 gigabytes was the largest but I'm here to tell you today that I've actually confirmed using larger capacities now you're probably thinking Timothy why in the world would I need a larger capacity than 128 gigabytes or even 64 gigabytes if that's the card I'm rocking well there are a couple scenarios that that you might find yourself in that would require more SD storage size. One of the biggest things is if you're traveling, uh, perhaps you are in the back country or you're car camping or you're on a long road trip um, or you're flying and going somewhere and you're gonna be away from your computer or your editing rig for a extended period of time. You might have the option to recharge your batteries and continue filming, but you need the storage capacity on that SD card. And you need that because you can't go to your editing rig and dump all the footage off, format your SD card, and start all over. Some people would say, okay, I'm just going to buy another SD card, but there are some of you that really want all of your files on one simple SD card so you don't have to worry about keeping up with these things, and they're so small, they're easy to lose. So you're just looking for one card to hold all of your storage. So if that's you, I am going to recommend the largest size SD card that has been confirmed to be used with the Mavic Pro. That's this guy right here. It is a 256 gigabyte micro SD card from Samsung. This guy right here, can we just take a second to marvel at technology that I'm holding 256 gigabytes of storage space right here? That's larger than a lot of hard drives in laptops just a few years ago, right? So that's just kind of crazy that it's all packed into this small little package. It is a professional class, so you don't have to worry about it keeping up with your 4K footage. It's going to do it all just fine. Now, one thing I have been noticing, I put this into my Mavic, everything's been working fine everything's been recording perfectly uh, you know everything's just been great except for on the very bottom of your app there is a small little notification telling you to reformat the SD card now that's just because it doesn't quite know what to do with this much space the record time that you have available is like 99 hours and 99 minutes it's a crazy amount of speed and size and so it just doesn't quite know what to do with it although it still functions just the same so you might have that small little warning on the bottom to tell you to format the card. I have formatted the card and it still says that, um, but it still functions exactly the same, still functions normally like I said, and you should be all set. This much storage does come at a downfall though, and that is the cost. The Samsung Evo Plus 256 gig micro SD card can range in price from $150 to $200 on amazon.com. Now you can catch these on sale occasionally, so I would recommend just kind of hanging out and waiting for those, or maybe you might even have one in an old cell phone. That's what happened with me. I got this for free when I had the Note 7 from Samsung. Then it started exploding and I still got to keep this one and I went back 
back to my trusty iPhone 7 Plus. It works fantastic. I love it. It's great to be home with Apple once again, and it doesn't explode. So that's a good thing. So look around, you might actually have a higher capacity micro SD in one of those phones if you're rocking an Android at some point. Um, but if you do need this much storage, it is going to set you back some in price. So be sure and keep an eye on the sales. Also use the links in my description below. I've linked them directly to Amazon where you can find the best price on this card right now. So check out those links in the description below. That brings us to question of the day. What size of an SD card are you using in your Mavic Pro? Are you fine rocking the 16 gig that came with it or have you expanded and used a larger one? Do you think that 256 is a little overkill or are you gonna go for it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I hope that it's been helpful. And as always, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video.